After a 2014 CIF season, Crescenta Valley came into their home opener Thursday night with confidence, but Golden Valley was happy to play spoiler as KJ Maduke ran for 122 yards and three touchdowns to lift his team to a 39-20 victory. Crescenta Valley's first drive may have been the best of the night, capturing three first downs using a couple passes and the ground game, but after that first drive it was all Golden Valley. Golden Valley's quarterback, Victor Corona, threw an interception to Crescenta Valley's Dakota Cummins, but Cummins immediately fumbled the ball, resulting in a huge gain for the Grizzlies, which set up a six-yard touchdown round for Maduke, his first of the night. It was obvious that Golden Valley's head coach, Dan Kelly, had been preparing for Crescenta Valley's Tyler Hill all week. Hill was fighting for every yard the entire night. Plays like this were frequent, where Hill just couldn't escape being tackled and wrapped up by more than one Golden Valley defender each time. The pressure gave the opportunity for senior linebacker Brian Barrera to intercept this pass in the second quarter. Crescenta Valley showed little resistance as Golden Valley continued to roll, with this 26-yard strike from Corona to Alex Escamala over the middle. Tyler Hill produced as much offense as he could. It started in the third quarter when he converted a quarterback sneak at the goal line to help cut the deficit. Hill rushed for 78 yards in the touchdown while adding two touchdown passes, but they both came in the fourth quarter. Simply too little, too late. 